15 Best Tourist Spots in the Philippines, Beaches, Diving Spots, Rivers, Waterfalls, Historic Sites. Number 15 at Calle Crisologo, Vigan. Travel back in time as you stroll along the streets of Calle Crisologo in Vigan as part of your Ilocos itinerary. This 16th-century town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist spot in the Philippines, quietly boasts old-world charm and Spanish colonial architecture and is the top attraction in Vigan, Ilocos tours and one of the top historical landmarks in the Philippines. The town famous for its Calle Crisologo tour has successfully managed to preserve the historic district where you can still find calesas, horse-drawn carriages. Sample the famous and delicious Ilocos empanada and walk along cobbled streets lined with souvenir shops selling pottery and able aloco weaves. These are among the many things to see and do when in Vigan. Number 14 at El Nido in Palawan is most famous for its paradise-like islands and lagoons, but a 45-minute ride from its main town takes you to another idyllic destination, Nakpan Beach. Island hopping escapades in El Nido, including a visit to El Nido, Big Lagoon and other top Palawan beaches should not be missed. But after a jam-packed day of visiting coves, white sand beaches in El Nido, limestone cliffs, and other El Nido Palawan tourist spots, a trip to relaxing Nakpan Beach is highly recommended. Number 13 at Tabataha Reef is regarded as one of the top diving spots in the Philippines, and, perhaps, the world. Located at the heart of the Sulu Sea, it is considered a center of marine biodiversity and a haven not just for divers but marine conservationists as well. The only way to get to this marine sanctuary is through a live-aboard vessel from Porta Princesa, Palawan. The access may be challenging, but it is probably what is keeping the Tabataha Reef's natural park teeming with some of the most unique underwater life in the world. It is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was nominated as part of the new Seven Wonders of the Natural World. Number 12 at as soon as your flight lands at the airport in Baikal International Airport of Albay Province, the world's most perfect volcanic cone and the most active volcano in the Philippines greets you with its majesty. Mayon Volcano is one of the most beautiful places to visit in the Philippines and is a top attraction in any Baikal tour. Its sheer beauty, the name Mayon comes from the Baikalano word Magayan, which means beautiful, hides a violent core, with past eruptions that flattened several towns. Number 11 at Take a stroll through History Lane within the walled city of Intramuros in Manila, one of the top landmarks in the Philippines. This 64-hectare Spanish fortress was erected by Miguel López de Legazpi and was destroyed by the end of World War II. However, the ruins remain today and are some of the top Instagrammable places in Manila. The area can be explored via Intramuros tours or a Manila bike tour. The area has become home to several universities and establishments. Here, you can find centuries-old churches, which are architectural landmarks in the Philippines, and historical places in Manila like the Grand Manila Cathedral and San Agustin Church, the oldest church in the Philippines, making the area a great place for a Philippine staycation. Number 10 at Locals and foreign visitors from Manila often take a quick escape from the megacity and make their way south to Tagate, a relaxing town famous for its cool weather, magnificent views, and many tourist spots. It's popular for being one of the best kid-friendly places near Manila. The best Tagate hotels have a view that faces Tall Volcano, one of the world's smallest active volcanoes. The volcano sits on an island within a lake within an island. Since hikes to the crater are no longer allowed, head to Tagate restaurants, Tagate cafes, or Tagate hotels with a view of Tall. While in Tagate and Batangas, heat up your trip with a delectable bowl of bulalo, a clear broth with beef shanks, bone marrow, and corn. Number 9 at. If you like jumping into or swimming in cool cascading waters, Kawazan Falls in Cebu hits the sweet spot. It is a multi-layered waterfall in the town of Badian and is best known for its turquoise waters. With a height of 40 meters, the first cascade is where most visitors stay, swim, and enjoy a natural water massage on board a bamboo raft. A 10-minute trek takes you up to the quieter second cascade. Kawazan Falls is also the endpoint of the popular adventure activity. Kawazan Falls Canyoneering. This tour starts in Kanlaab River in the town of Alegria. You'll make your way to Kawazan, swimming along streams, rappelling through natural rock walls, and finally jumping off many waterfalls. Nearby is the town of Mulbol, famous for its sardine run experience, where you swim with millions of sardines just offshore. Number 8 at. Undoubtedly one of the most photographed and iconic destinations in the Philippines is Kayangan Lake in Koron, Palawan. 
Going on a Kayangan Lake Koran tour will allow you to see its lagoon that is a dreamy mix of blues and greens glistening on a bright, sunny day. It should definitely be on your Koran Palawan itinerary. Kayangan Lake tours will take you to the jagged limestone cliffs and islets surrounding the lake. All these add up to a dramatic landscape, best seen from a 10-minute climb up a hill. Curiously, this view is not of the actual Kayangan Lake but the area where the tour boats park, but it is still breathtaking nonetheless. As spectacular as the views are above ground, the real gem is hidden underneath the lake's glass-like waters. Rock formations and schools of fish abound, making the area a favorite snorkeling and freediving spot for visitors and one of the most popular Koran Palawan tourist spots. The island destination is also famous for island hopping in Koran and Koran wreck diving, among many other must-try Koran tours. It's also a romantic destination and is a popular location for vacation packages for couples. Number 7 at Many travelers skip Manila and make their way to the Philippines' other islands, but a day or two in the country's capital to go on Manila tours is still highly recommended, especially for those looking for the best places in the Philippines for a family vacation. The hustle and bustle aside, Manila features a lot of tourist spots of historical landmarks in the Philippines. One of which is Rizal Park, more commonly known as Luneta. This 60-hectare urban park is where you will see the Rizal Monument, marking the execution site of the country's national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Number 6 at Bano Rice Terraces, Ifugo. Hand chiseled some 2,000 years ago, the Bano Rice Terraces in Bano of Ifugo, North Luzon, is a remarkable destination and is truly one of the most beautiful places in the Philippines and regarded as one of the Philippines' iconic landmarks. Sit in a colorful jeepney as it cruises along winding roads in Bano, and views of dramatic mud-walled rice terraces leave you in awe. The Ifugo people were highly skilled in carving both wood and mountainsides. The Bano Rice Terraces is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It offers spectacular views of emerald hues during the rice-growing seasons of April, May and October, November. Bano and its many natural attractions may pack a lot of tourists so you can make your way further to quieter Batad Rice Terraces and take a quick dip at its mighty Tapia waterfalls. You can also explore nearby Baguio City or pick fresh strawberries in La Trinidad, Benguet. Number 5 at Cebu's Beaches and Diving Spots Cebu has been declared part of UNESCO's network of creative cities, but its main treasure lies deep down. The island draws over 2 million foreign travelers every year, who are greeted by rich waters teeming with abundant marine life. There are also many Cebu hotels that you can book for your trip. Diving in Cebu is also a great experience as the island boasts many beautiful Cebu diving spots, featuring underwater caves, shallow shipwrecks, and marine sanctuaries. Cebu Island hopping tours are popular, thanks to the beaches of Cebu, Mactan, Camates, and Bantayan Island. Mobile island hopping tours are also available for those who want to explore more of Cebu. Off the northernmost tip of Cebu, tiny Malapasqua Island packs many surprises, including diving with thresher sharks. Apart from diving in Malapasqua, you can also go on a sardine run tour. For a hassle-free experience, book Malapasqua diving packages. Number 4 at Cloud 9, Siargo. Siargo's rise as a top tourist destination in the Philippines is nothing short of meteoric. Once a sleepy island in Surigao del Norte, it has become one of the favorite destinations and playgrounds for travelers, and it is primarily because of one activity, surfing. It is now known as the Philippine surfing capital, and some even regard it as the surfing mecca of Asia. Surfers are drawn to Cloud 9, the most famous surfing spot in the entire country and a must in any visitor's Siargo itinerary. From November until April, all is well with Cloud 9's thick tubes, making it a perfect place to get stoked, note, it is recommended for advanced surfers only. Number 3 at Porta Princesa Underground River, Palawan. The gateway to the Philippines' last frontier, Palawan, is its capital Porta Princesa. It is here that you can find the world's longest navigable underground river and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Porta Princesa Underground River or the Porta Princesa Subterranean River National Park. To explore this world-famous attraction and one of the best Philippine caves, book a Porta Princesa Underground River tour. Paddleboats of the Porta Princesa Underground River tours cruise through scenic limestone cliffs as they make their way through the accessible area, 1.5 kilometers, of the Underground River Cave. At number 2 is at Chocolate Hills, Bohol. Included in the UNESCO World Heritage Natural Monuments list, the Chocolate Hills of Bohol are a geomorphic wonder and truly a sight to behold. It is one of the amazing tourist spots in the Philippines to offer a unique landscape, with its 1,268 cone-shaped hills that turn chocolatey brown during the dry season, hence its name. Make your way to the town of Carmen, where the Chocolate Hills main viewpoint can be found. 
You can also see the hills via Chocolate Hills Tours or Bohol Countryside Tours. Aside from the Chocolate Hills, there is also a treasure chest of natural wonders and other fun things to do in Bohol, including a relaxing Lobok River cruise and exploring Balakasag Island, a popular Bohol diving spot. You can also go on Panglao Island Tours and Philippine Tarsia Sanctuary Visits, where you can see the world's second smallest primate. At night you can visit Abadan River and see some of the rarest fireflies in the Philippines. And, the last, but not the least, is at White Beach, Boracay. Long hailed as one of the best white sand beaches in the Philippines and the entire world, Boracay's claim to fame is its 4-kilometer stretch of pure white, powdery sand called White Beach. Cliché as it sounds, White Beach is truly postcard perfect, with tall coconut trees lining it and crystal clear calm waters rounding up its unmatched beauty, making it the top attraction in Boracay tours and the best tourist destination in the Philippines.